Hey guys, we are in the basement and today, yesterday guys, on this episode of John Sucks at Video Games. And by the way, look at this right here. The Atari Firefox is down. Ugh. I just turned the arcade on and the screen was white. I pulled the game out and I, I opened the back door and it looks like the power supplies are not getting power. So I don't know if I blew a fuse or something. Very strange. Uh, we'll, we'll address that soon on an upcoming John's Arcade video on my other channel, as well as these two games here that are down. I don't like having broken games. Anyway, what are we doing today? I'll tell you, we're doing this right here. <laughs> so, I'm actually pretty excited about this. This is a, a Thrustmaster, guys. It's a Thrustmaster stick. And, and it's not just any stick, it's the Hotas. <laughs> which, which I guess is hands-on throttle and stick, okay? Hands-on throttle and stick hotas or or hot ass i don't know how do you say this <laughs> so so anyway guys you know i kind of got into elite dangerous like like a little bit like i haven't really played a ton right but i saw the potential for something like this and, and if you guys follow me on my uh my uh, podcast video game outsiders you know that i'm a helicopter guy i like flying helicopters especially in games like battlefield well i never had something like this to control the helicopters or the planes or anything i've always just used mouse and keyboard or a controller and then when I was playing Elite Dangerous uh, for the first time really a couple weeks ago, I kind of saw the potential for something like this with that game. Because it's a really cool space sim and I was like, wow, wouldn't it be cool to have a joystick here and, and a throttle over here? So I kind of investigated and I ended up buying one of these. My God, what is going on with this popcorn door? <laughs> Stay. Anyway, this right here is the Thrustmaster T16000M FCS FC. S Hotas again. That's hand on uh, throttle and stick. Okay, so Hotas. That's what when you see people say Hotas or hot ass or whatever. It's hands on throttle and stick. Okay, and this thing was about one hundred twenty five dollars. It's not the cheapest. It's not the most expensive. It's kind of like in the middle. And this says it's for PC. I don't think this works like on PS four and stuff. But you can see it comes with the stick and then also this thruster over here. This thrust control for for speed, okay? So I thought we'd open it up, and then also I wanna do in this video, I wanna try it with Elite Dangerous, and we're gonna be doing this together for the first time, because I've never owned anything like this. Actually, I think a long time ago, I might've had a uh, Microsoft, like, uh, Sidewinder or something, one of those joysticks, but that was so long ago, and I've always kinda wanted to get something like this, especially if I ever get into DCS, you know, the Digital Combat Simulator, because I kinda wanna try my hand at that, because I really do enjoy those kind of flight sim games. I'm not very good at them, and I usually get bored, but this this maybe is what I need to really get into it, you know, to make it that much more immersive. Anyway, all right, here it is. Let, let's see what's going on. So it's very plasticky, okay? Which I kind of expected. You know, again, this is just middle of the road. It's not high end, it's not low end. Um, so it comes with some little books here, one for the throttle, one for the stick. And then I guess down the road, if I wanted to, I can get a second stick maybe, and I can have dual stick controls like like uh, for Elite Dangerous. But anyway, right away here, I'll tell you, this feels pretty awesome. <laughs> I have to say. So we have like a twist movement here, you know, side, side to side, right? We have a button on the top here. We got something here. I don't know what you could, I'm sure you could program all this stuff to do different things. Uh, there's six buttons over here. One, two, three, four, five, six. Um, on the stick itself, we have a trigger. Uh, we have this button on the left, one on the right, one in the center that goes up, down, left, right. And then also, no, you can't push it. It's just up, down, left, right, the kind of hat switch. And then over here is another button. So we've got a ton of buttons. And then on this side, six more buttons. My God, <laughs> this thing has a ton of buttons. Now, quality wise, yeah, it's okay. Yeah, like I said, it's very plasticky. I don't uh, imagine that a an Apache helicopter would have a plastic stick like this, but, but whatever. It feels pretty good though. It's really smooth, my God. All right, so let's look at this thing over here. So this is the throttle, okay? And I imagine that when we set this up, we're gonna have this on the left and this on the right, okay? And this is how we control our, our thrust or our speed. Now, does it matter which way we hold this? I think actually we wanna do it like that, yeah. Okay, so that's this is kinda really crazy. So we, we do have two USB plugs, by the way. So anyway, this hand here, so we have, we have throttle or thrust, okay? And then we have a slew of buttons on the side. My God, it's gonna take me forever to program this stuff. So we've got one four-way directional kind of hat switch right here. 
and then another one right here that seems to have multi-directions, and then yet another multi-directional one right here, and then this big yellow button, which maybe is fire or something, and then on this side, we have a dial. <laughs> My god. <laughs> this might be too much. And on the back here, we have paddle, like a little paddle controller left and right, and then a little analog stick right here. My god, this thing's got a lot of stuff. I really wasn't expecting this many buttons on this thing. And then right here, whatever that is, and then two more buttons here. So, oh my god, I'm, I'm really hoping that when we hook this up, there's like Elite Dangerous profiles or something, but so far, it's cool. I'm feeling a little overwhelmed though, I gotta say. <laughs> so, so let's just see what it says here for the manual. Uh, download the drivers for PC. All right, so what we're gonna do right now is I'm gonna go to the computer. I'm gonna I'm gonna go on their website and download the drivers. I'm gonna install them. We're gonna launch Elite Dangerous and just see what happens because I don't know what's gonna happen. But you know, I, I was very hesitant to buy this. I'm not gonna lie because I didn't want a bunch of junk on my desk. My my, my world is a, is cluttered enough. But I don't know. Maybe this will really change my life. I, I'm I'm curious later to play it in Battlefield 2. But today we're gonna focus on Elite Dangerous. So all right, let's go to the computer and see what it does. All right, guys, all I did so far was I plugged the joystick and the thruster in, and I'm going to tell you right away that the, uh, I, I think the USB cable's too short. It, it barely makes it to my computer, and, and the way it is right now, it's just not going to fly. But yeah, my computer's all the way to the right, and I'm all the way to the left, so not a typical setup. Anyway, so I plugged it in, and, and I have Windows 10, and the first thing that happened was uh, Windows, a dialog box, uh, popped open, and it automatically installed drivers for it. It recognized it as the Thrustmaster uh, T16000, whatever it is, and and oh, by the way, look on the bottom here. There's a switch that says left-handed and right-handed, okay? So we're going to make sure it's on right-handed. And I guess that you can unscrew this. There's something about this where you can you can flip. Oh, I see. You could flip this grip right here, I believe. There's something about this I read online where you could flip this around so that uh, it makes sense for a lefty. So that this shoe thing is on the other side and then this is over here. But it looks like you have to unscrew the... Yeah, you probably unscrew this, that, and then the two halves come off and you just swap them around. I'm guessing. At least that's what, what I read. But anyway, we have it set to right-handed, okay? So again, I plugged it in, Windows detected it, installed the driver. However, I went to the Thrustmaster website and I downloaded their uh, universal driver. So I'm, I'm installing that right now. This is the Thrustmaster FFB driver. Uh, and then also I noticed that they have some game setting files. And we're going to talk about that in a second. So let's go ahead and, and install like the official drivers. All right, so I'm installing that. And, and, and by the way, I just went to Thrustmaster's website, and, and that's it. No magic here. Um, all right, so it says that we installed it. Now, I don't know if there's if there's actual uh, like software that we can use. You know, I'm just kind of winging this, guys. I have no idea. All right, whatever. It's installed. And then right here it says game settings, okay? They got Elite Dangerous, Stalingrad, Mech Warrior, Star Citizen, Elite Dangerous, Mapping Example, War Thunder, and then uh, Elite Dangerous, Hotas. Oh, yeah, we need that. So let's see. All right, let's see what that does. So how the hell do we do this? So if I open up this accurate this file here, oh my God, guys, this is Jesus. <laughs> oh my God, and this is with the rudder pedals too. So I don't know which one of these I should be installing here. The T sixteen hundred M, and then they also have the uh, the Hotas, and then there's the FCF files which. What runs those? And then there's the bind files. Hmm. Something tells me that I'm missing something here. All right. Unified driver package. Okay, we got that. Uh, all right. So we have the unified driver package installed. So we've got this target. Oh. These are scripts for... Target, so I need to install Target. Here it is. Target software. Alright, let's download that. 
Yeah, we're totally winging this. Calm down. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna install the target software. So I'm gonna install this and then we'll come back and see if we can do stuff. Okay, so we have the target software installed. It rebooted my computer. Now I'm reading the, the PDF file here that came with the FCS HOTAS uh, Elite Dangerous setup for the target thing. It says uh, copy the target.binds file, okay, to your uh, username app data local frontier development Elite Dangerous options bindings folder. Okay, so I had that in there. It says plug your, your FCS uh, HOTAS in. Launch target GUI, okay, so let's launch that, okay. And then it says here, click on the run configuration button. Let's let the, so I guess target's like their software to configure this. So you could see how, how this looks here. You, we've got all these different settings and stuff, the mappings for the T16000M and the TWCS throttle, okay. So it's recognizing them both as being installed, okay. It says two USB connected. Um, click on run configuration button, okay. And then browse to the pro profile you want to load. In our case, it's FCS HOTA's Elite Dangerous FCF, which I believe I put on the desktop. If not, I'm going to put it there right now. Oh, no, it's on the desktop. So let me grab that. And, okay. So now it's running some kind of command here. So it says launching and running profile. Okay, browse to the profile you want to load in our case. Okay, and double click, it will then run, it will then run the profile, okay? Once you see this, you can launch Elite Dangerous Software, but do not stop the profile or exit target. Oh, really? So once you see this, it says, you can launch Elite Dangerous Software, but do not stop the profile or exit target. Okay. So let's put this up here because we're going to need this. So let's go ahead and launch Elite Dangerous. I'll be right back. All right, so according to the PDF document, it says after the game boots, which it did right here, you're supposed to go into controls. Whoops, go into controls. And then presets, and we're going to change this to target FCS uh, underscore hot ass. Uh, so right there. Okay. And then we're supposed to pick apply. And I think after that... That's it, okay? Uh, hopefully. <laughs> so, um, so we're gonna do a training mission because I am not good at this. And let's do, let's do this one right here, the docking and travel training. So I'm kind of excited. I mean, this is definitely a cool vibe or setup here, but is it gonna work? Because we've got, you know, I was using the Xbox 360 controller, which wasn't bad. I, I was using keyboard and mouse. I've tried them all. But, yeah, this will be pretty legit, right? So let's let it load. Okay, so... Hey, Commander. Now it's time for you to help me out. I need you to do a cargo run for me. Ordinarily, I'd take care of this myself. But I'm not on the best of terms with the security forces. So I'm going to pick launch. Place. So you're going to have to take my place. Okay, so this little button here will scroll when through stuff. So let's do launch. Just like return to surface. Okay. So that's working. Use down arrow and space. Alright, so far so good. We haven't flown yet. Okay, you're ready to launch. Take her out, Commander. Okay. All right, so let's go to select launch. All right. Okay, there's our throttle. Oh, yeah. Oh. Oh, 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 oh. Use. Ooh, the throttle is nice. Oh, yeah. All right, I can get, I can get used to this. All right, so we have this control here. I'm gonna make sure the camera's picking this up because this is actually pretty cool. <laughs> Let's turn the light off. Uh, maybe you guys want to see me. I, I don't know. So, okay, do you guys see what's going on here? This is kind of neat, right? So the throttle, right, making me go forward and back. And then I have this twist motion here, right? 
and then we can go up and down, and then left and right. I don't know, is that yoke or all? Oh, I don't know. So let's see if we can get out of here with authority. Ah, we did it. All right, use our... Okay, you're clear of the access corridor. Your ship's still mass locked by the station. All right. Be on five kilometers. So I wonder what now this other stuff does back. here. Landing gear must be attract retracted, okay? So how do we do that? Well, it's L. Landing gear retracted. It might even be a button binding, I don't really know. <laughs> I can't wait to play this with Battlefield 4, by the way. I, I want to fly me a helicopter with this thing. Alright. Yeah, this is cool. <laughs> Press J. All right, here we go. Four, three, so we're about two, to. One, engage. Okay. So I guess you're still going to use the keyboard, right? Unless you map or learn every little thing on here. Use one to view the left-hand panel. Okay, so I think it's that. Wait, let's see. So one does this, but I want to do that with this stuff over here. Okay, well, can we? Oops, what did I just do? Ah, oh, shit. You won't get anywhere without punching in a destination first, Commander. All right, so maybe we have to do that with this, and then we can use our little thumbstick here. So where did she tell me to go? Morger? What'd she say? All right, press one. All right. I don't know. Where, where was I supposed to go? I didn't pay attention. There. All right, so now we come back. I think I picked the wrong place. Hang on. Morger. I don't really know what's happening now. Oh my god. <laughs> Where am I supposed to go? Aaronin? I didn't pay attention to what she said. We were supposed to pick Aaron in. All right, so Jay is. So the target's over here, right there. This is cool, guys. I know this is just a tutorial. <laughs> So I'll tell you that the base on this is a little light. It, it slides around too easily. It'd be kind of cool to maybe Velcro it or something or open it up and put some lead in there. <laughs> I'll fill it with ball bearings. Whoa. All right. Welcome to Ironic, Commander. Just don't show any support for the Federation and All right. get on fire. I really dig this joystick to control this ship, though. Try not to keep him waiting too long. This guy gets a little twitchy and things don't look like the Shit. Uh, I'm kind of like on the sun. <laughs> I know, I might be the worst player ever. And I'm not listening to a word she's saying. Right now, my ship is melting. 
All right. Super cruise approach can be tricky, Commander, so you'll want to keep an eye on your distance, speed, and alignment at the bottom left of your cockpit display. All right. Once you're within a thousand k's from your target and going less than a thousand kilometers per second, you should be safe to drop out. If you keep your speed in the blue zone, you'll be less likely to overshoot your mark. But if you do, you can always loop back around and try again. All right, so we're heading towards the. You dropped out too far away from the target station. Wait for your FSD to cool down and then jump back into Super Cruise to get close to the destination. All right, we gotta do this again. Drive charging. Line with escape vector. All right. Four, three, two, one. Engage. Okay. Okay. Hopefully you'll get it right this time around. Stay focused, Commander. All right, we're going. I know, I am the worst Elite Dangerous player ever. I get it. <laughs> Doesn't bother me, I'm learning still. So, we're going towards the target. Slow down, shit, 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 shit. We're going to whip right past it. So here comes the target. We gotta jump out though, right? Okay, am I doing okay? This is kind of cool, guys. Ooh, what'd I do? Oh, so that's what that does. Hang on. Shit. <laughs> Drop down too soon again. Wait till your distance and speed are... Alright, so by the way, this little... I mean, obviously I have a lot to learn here with this game, right? But <laughs> am I more immersed? I think I am. So, so right now I'm just, eventually we're, we're not going to use the keyboard at all, right? That's the goal here. Like, that's cool. Wait, so down. Oh, look at that. Oh, that's cool. Look at that. It's like mimicking what I do. Okay, so then we go, so forward, forward is up, and then down is that, left, right, I like that. Too bad I just, I just am so bad at this game. So, so all right, I, I think we get the idea. All right, so this is cool. I'm gonna definitely play with this, and I think we'll revisit this too. Um, Cause I want to try this with Battlefield, like badly, and uh, but you know, I I'll tell you, my initial impression of that stuff right there is it's a little cheap. It feels good, right? But it's it doesn't have a good heft to it. There's not a lot of weight, but it, it controls fine. But that stick was sliding around a little bit on me, so I don't know. What'd you guys think, huh? <laughs> so, <laughs> so that was it. That was the uh, the Thrustmaster uh, F. CS hot ass or hotas. I don't know. I kind of dig that.
and maybe we'll do some more stuff like this. Maybe we'll, maybe we'll screw around with with Battlefield. What do you guys think? So, anyway, that's gonna do it for this video, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, be sure to uh, like, comment, subscribe. Also, check out my other channel, John's Arcade, where we do arcade stuff. Yeah, this stuff down here. And then check out my podcast, Video Game Outsiders, at VideoGameOutsiders.com. And by the way, we're doing a, a, a t-shirt campaign because we're about to celebrate our 500th episode. Yeah, we've been doing that podcast for 12 years, uh, my, my friend Michelle and I. And so go to uh, ILoveVGO.com. That's ILoveVGO.com. You can order a uh, anniversary t-shirt you have until about February 28th. All right, guys, that's it for this video. We're done. I'll see you very soon. Later, and bye.